What's up everybody, that's your boy about the slam from RhythmNationBits.com I'm going to be talking about things you need as a producer to start going as a beginner You don't need all this It, it took me a while to get everything I have I, Sometimes you may be looking at those stuff and ask yourself Do you need all that? No, there are certain things you don't need um, As a beginner Now if you're getting into beats making uh, You really are the person who likes to sample then I, I will advise you, if you like to sample a lot, you can uh, sample with any of your uh, DAW. But um, I prefer, when you, when you do a lot of sampling, I prefer you, you, you can probably start with the machine micro, you can start sampling. This right here makes it very, very easy to sample if you want to go into sampling. And then um, this here, Akai MPC Life. Do you need do you need it as a beginner? I don't think so. But as time goes on, yes, you may want to have it. It's it's it can help with your work workflow. What this can do, this can do the same thing. This one has a certain type of library. This doesn't have this Akai um, this Akai MPC may have a certain library. This don't have this may have a certain library. This may not have so it's it, it's nice to have both of them. And also you you probably may need a keyboard. If you can't afford a keyboard on on FL Studio, there is a button over there whereby you can press on that and you can play the key, the keys on your keyboard. You may you may not want to have um MIDI keyboard, but it's also at, at the same time it makes it really excuse me. At the same time, it make it really easy if you have a if you have a MIDI keyboard. It make it easy because sometimes I do draw my MIDI instead of playing the keys. But most most of the time, I like to play it. And when I want to do any add-on, when I want to do any add-on, I just uh, just add uh, draw in the MIDI. And also, when I first got this mixer, when I first got this mixer, to be honest with you, I didn't know what I was getting. I just search, did a search and I was like, oh, I may need to get a mixer. Yes, I did get this mixer, but with all this channel I have on there, do I need all that channel? No. But I, actually, I didn't have, um, I didn't have anybody to to talk me into like, this is what you need. This is, I had to learn everything by myself. So I ended up getting with this and it's got a lot of channel. Ask me how many times I've used all those channels. Ask me how many times I've used all those channels. You don't need something this size for a beginner. You don't need something this size with all this channel. And then also audio interface. Audio interface. It's something. It's something you may want to look into. There are some cool ones out there, but this it it, it does the job. It does the job. So I ain't going to be stressed about it because it does a really good job. And I'm not going to stress about it. Like I said, and if if you are the type of person who likes to make music or beats and have headphone on, yes, you need to get yourself headphone. I got me this, I ain't gonna lie, I got me this KRK headphone. I got this KRK headphone for roughly, hmm, I got it for roughly about four years now, four or five years now, and they still really, really good. I can have this headphone on for many 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 hours and I, sometimes I even forget that I have it and one good thing about it though when this headphones the foams around it when you run it you can just buy a pair and then replace it KRK headphones I really recommend that they are really good and as you can see I have KRK monitors as well when I started making beats I was just using a regular speakers and Anytime I make the beats, I'll mix the beats. I watch tutorial about mixing and all that. But anytime I mix the beats, I play the beats in the car, and guess what? The beats so it sucks so bad. I ask myself, what is going on? So eventually, I, like I said, when I started, I didn't know what I was I was doing. I eventually did a search and no, I need to get me a studio monitor. So I ended up getting a studio monitor. Do you need to? Do you need to have this to No, if you have one. It's okay. You can buy a used one if you don't have the money. You can buy a used one. You can either buy a Yamaha or you can buy um, KRK. Like 
I said I have KRK and I have Yamaha. This KRK have a very rich, rich end. The ends, the end are very, very good. When you're using it for drums, it gives you a very rich end. And it's, 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 it's flat. According to some people, they said it's a little colored. And what I mean by it's a little colored, it's a little, it's saturated. I don't have any problem messing with mixing with that because I'm used to that. But I've heard I did a, uh, a Google search and some people said it's a little um, colored, meaning it's a, they, it's such, they they saturate the sound a little. I don't I don't know. I don't have any problem. Like I said, I don't have any problem with that when I'm mixing. And then the Yamaha also it's really good. Yamaha I use Yamaha when I'm mixing melodies. It's Yamaha. It gives you like a very flat sound and it's good when you ask me which one would I choose out of these two I think either of them is good it's just knowing your equipment when you are used to mixing with KRK and you learn mixing with KRK then guess what it's gonna be your go-to and you will mix and everything will come out really really good even when you look into professional studios they have KRK and I love my KRK I ain't gonna lie I love my Yamaha too those two you may want to try it and see what's best for you I use this too and to be honest with you I don't have a problem with any of them they both monitors are so great but do you need Yamaha and KRK at the same time as a beginner no you may want to choose depending on what you want to do you may want to go with a Yamaha or you may want to go with a KRK you can go to the nearby guitar center or any music any music store around you and then you can ask you can ask them more questions about this and see what is suitable for you and what you want to do so you also will probably need a microphone this is a USB microphone I don't use this when I'm recording a song but I use this for vlogging when I'm shooting a vlog I use this this is a USB microphone I use and it's pretty good so far so good it doesn't give me any problem I don't have any problem using this in the beginning I had a little you know troubleshooting it here and there but after having a little more try and error being patient and did my search I was able to have this and it, it works pretty good another thing you need is um, some people when I started making beats I didn't get me a desktop I, I started using um, a laptop that is what I used I used the laptop when I was I started making beats that is all I used I just used a laptop and I started creating my beats on as time went on I have certain software like I need more software so I went in for a desktop just go for what you think you can afford it doesn't even have to be a brand new computer just go you can you can go on eBay you can go on Amazon and you can buy a used computer instead of just sitting just start start doing something you know just start doing something instead of just sitting and when you one thing I also I don't want to forget about this is a power conditioner power conditioners are really good you don't want to spend all your money you know on all this nice and beautiful equipment and then you end up not protecting your equipment you need you need to have a power conditioner what is a power conditioner with well, this it stops your bad current from it stop bad current from coming from you from your main outlet into your system now if there's a bad power it will stop it people say you can get a you can get a uh, APS or battery backup yes those are good too but power conditioner is really really good now let me show you all something this I have this here so and when you look over here it's got a light underneath turn this on and it got a light underneath I can turn up the light or turn it off it's a really good power conditioner I plug all my outlets all my outlets most of them goes in here or they go into the battery backup and it's connected from there I connected the main battery backup to my power conditioner and beside that they are, sometimes you have easy noise coming out from your from your electric outlet it cuts all that electric hissing noise it's really good and it can protect your gear it's something you may want to look into those are not really expensive at all 
from for, for what I saw, I thought it's it may be expensive, but no, there are different types. You may you you have to get a part of this. Like you love the equipment and you don't want anything to happen to your equipment, you don't want them to be damaged, you need to have a part of this, not look into it. And then also when I'm shooting my vlog, I have uh, this ring light here. I have this ring light in there. I have the camera microphone and also my camera over here. It's I use this when I'm shooting the vlog, and it's pretty it's, it's pretty dope. I don't have any problem with this. This microphone I forgot. It's been a it's been a long time since I purchased this microphone. But if I'm not mistaken, here I think I got this microphone for twenty nine dollars, twenty nine ninety nine. I'm not sure. The camera was a little pricey, of course, but it gives me a really good sharp image like I want. And I have the ring, this big ring lights, which I really love. Because anytime I'm using this ring light, I can adjust this dim it whatsoever. And it's it's a pretty good deal. I had I had this for a while now, and the camera is kind of and it's having given me um, any type of problem. So. There, these are things that you would want to look into. You don't have to get a mixer like I did. You can start with just an audio interface. Do a Google search. Go to a music store. Ask them what you think you need. If you don't know, ask. Or you can do a search. So if you can't afford a mixer, just go with a just go with the audio interface. You don't have to spend thousands of dollars you can start all you need first get yourself a laptop after you get yourself a laptop find a DAW there are try versions you will you do you will use the try versions and see which one you think you like then you stick to that you master that and it's a cute execute it so buy yourself a laptop and then get yourself a headset and then stop making music. If you want to buy a MIDI keyboard, there are a certain MIDI keyboard that are even smaller than this. You can look into it. You can get a MIDI keyboard for a good price that are smaller than this one. You can get it for a good price. So, listen, don't say, I don't have money for this. I don't have money. Yes, you can. If you want to, you can. I know sometimes things can be hard. But you don't need to have all this. You need to start from somewhere. When I, I started, actually, I started when I started making beats. I started with this laptop. This is what I started making beats with. And that is the only computer I had back then. And I started making beats with this. But as time goes on, I started to upgrade. So you have to start from start from somewhere. And like what I said about the power conditioner, look into it. If you love your equipment, look into it and make sure you don't um, you don't you don't have any bad power damaging your equipment. And this acoustic panel, I had an acoustic. Uh, I I built this acoustic panel. Do you have to build that as a beginner? If you don't have the money, no. There are a certain a certain ways you can buy the foamy ones and use that in your studio until you start making money. And then you can get yourself or build by the materials and then build your own acoustic rhythm nation and mates. you are going to love it. One thing though, when you use it, when you start mixing, you would definitely need a studio monitor. Do you need a brand new do you have to get yourself a brand new one? I don't think so. You can get yourself a used one. Go on eBay. You can get yourself a, a used one and start from somewhere. And as time goes on, you will probably, you know, by the time you know it, if the ambition is over, then you're taking your art and craft serious. By the time you know it, you already you know, buying whatever you're supposed to beats. buy. So that is it about now things you may need as a producer to start your laptop, your DAW. Your monitor those are the things you can start with and then you can get yourself um, those foam acoustic foam and whenever you mix in so the sounds will not be bouncing Freedom I heard some people use egg crates I haven't tried egg crates before but before I built my own acoustic panel what I used was on um, the acoustic foam I just use a thumbtack to hold them against the wall and it's worked pretty good until I build my own so this are the stuff you know you need to start from somewhere. Get yourself a laptop. Get nations. yourself a laptop, a DAW, and then get yourself some monitors to start with. 
if you if you have any question feel free you can hit you can hit me up on on on, on youtube here you can hit me up on, on youtube or you can go click the link below and you can go on my instagram I'm most most of the time you can find me on my ig and then ask Bring any the question i will reply to you the moment i see your question i'll reply to you don't feel don't feel that all i'm gonna just blow you off or whatever if you just feel free if you have any question just go to my ig page and the link is below and then hit me up and ask me any question and i'll reply to you thanks for watching have a wonderful morning afternoon and evening y'all stay blessed peace out